time for predictions. Let's see. Vedius, you can go first. I'm going to start with the G2-3-2. Two, two. I think that it's going all the way. I think that it's going to be a 4-5 games. And it seems the G2 is quite excited about my first all prediction. Right. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to have to agree with Vedi on this one. Uh, G2-3-2. Two, two. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, do you want to explain or do you just want to have no, a I mean, they're just. I think it's the 3-2, yeah. All right. Goldborg, what are you going to say, man? I mean, if you've been good before, you can be good again. So I'm actually giving it a bit more confidence this time around. So I'm going to say 3-1 instead of the 3-2. The copium. The copium. Wow. Yeah, I guess I was happy with that. <laughs> uh, and let's see what Discord said. Discord said G2, 3-2. Two, two. Uh, that's... Hey, you know, I'm just going to say it. That looks... Like a jinx. <laughs> 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 I'm say. Uh, no, of course, uh, fantastic chances for both teams. G2 and Fnatic, they want to make it to Worlds. Everything is on the line for Fnatic and G2 this series. So without further ado, let's get to the action. <laughs> Thank you very much, Shocks. Great job, guys. Is this going to count to the mid lane with? And that's going to be his Silas into the Oriana. Obviously, will struggle in the early lane to kind of get trial. Just how, as you said, getting this Callista lane so important. Ahead is Ooh, a flash Hilly. from Hilly. He was looking for Cap TP. If Adam gets dived, he's going to try and dodge around. The CC chain will come out. There's the TP coming out from Niski as he rejoins this fight. Caps here because he really can't step up. The wave's good. Here comes a flash. Stood still. Looks to try and dodge away from the Spectral Maw, but you can't dodge away from Death. First Blood Niski. Yeah, that has the ultimate to lock him up. We'll see if this play is forced. You know Adam's trying to get away from that. Hexic Ultimatum coming out. Yankos was going in the opposite direction. Adam trying to trade in. The Ignite's been ticking, and Adam won't be able to survive. Yankos takes the kill. Good set. good execution. It's as simple as that with the Ignite. Niski's hovering around. He has Flash. He could gap close onto Wunder here with E. Yeah, Flash steal away the ultimate and then jump forward. That's what he's looking to do. But he puts the Hexic Ultimatum down onto Yankos. Niski trading in here in a 2v1. Oh, Niski, Niski. Winning, but he takes up a tower shot. Yankos should be able to clean this one up, but can't quite do it. TP comes out. Bripple off towards these two teams. As I say that, Wonder may be caught out. Spectral Moor goes wide. Wonder still looking to trade, but can just hookshot war dive across this wall as and when Yankos he wants. Too. Spectral Moor coming out as well. There's a heartbreaker. Yankos joins the fray, but he's only level five. Niski on his way as well. Bripple's going to eat that honey boot to be okay. It was one to five to deal with Oriana because of the ranged into melee oh, match. Niski, but because the shockwave comes out here, Caps looking for it. Counter shockwave used by Niski, but Yankos is here. Still only level five. Caps has to flash away, and Niski will Niski. live to fight another day. Can't quite survive in the end. This department has got the blue buff now. Upset though, might be in trouble. Yeah, he's been rooted up here and you can see Yankos on his way as well. The exhaust coming down to slow up. Here comes Yankos, Hillasang there as well. The quickness coming out from Mickey. He just hit level six in the world up about EU making world finals, yeah. final semi. Do you know who's all in there? It was it Caps. It's always Caps. Sonic Grave comes out. Caps with a shot. Grave managed to find the mark. Ripper going in for the 2v1 trade here. Does have a Heartbreaker. Can use that ultimate to get Caps down, but can't quite get the damage. Hillasang going in with the center plate as well. It's a double for Yankos. Hillasang will get one in response, but Yankos now with the red buff and with a Rakan to boot. No Hillasang should be chased down here. As you say, no flash. Flash, Hex Flash won't save you now. It's a triple for Yanko. Yeah, really coming out clutch in being involved in every single one of his Wonder. team's kills so far. Wonder under the tower needs to dodge this final infected bone sword. Manages to do it. Adam healing up with that ignite using the grievous wounds will take away him. Adam's gonna flash in. Won't quite die for this. Maximum dosage keeps him alive for the moment. Yankos on his way as well. Adam puts down a couple of wards to spot out Mickey as he comes for the flank, but Yankos is almost here. The rest of Fnatic perhaps throwing good after bad as they look to save Adam, who is already dead. Yeah, right. yeah. look at Upset, though. He's moving out through bot side river, so if the fight's prolonged, he'll be there first while Reckless is bot, so G2 have to make a decision. They have to fight now or back off. Then it played, Solar Flare, Mickey trying to dance away, but that's both of his battle dancers used as a quickness as well, and Upset with waiting arms. Looks for Mickey, the Ignite is sticking, won't be enough. Reckless now down towards the bottom side, looking for those plates, but there's a TP behind him as Fnatic are not willing to let Reckless have any free time. Feathers fly, Feather Storm, and the TPs come in. G2 might look to continue to invest down towards the bot lane. Nikki. He's going to look at okay. the Zenith blade here, but the Solar Fire onto Yankos will lock him up. And negating their Herald. Yankos looking for this, goes in, there's the Dragon's Rage as well. Mickey on the chase, there's the Quickness. Hillasang does have flash, so does TB. Upset. They're looking for Upset. TP's coming in as well. Upset still has that flash to jump across the wall. He's used the heal already. Wonder gonna join the fray. It's now Fnatic looking for the fight in the bottom side. Niski steals away the Dragon's Rage, but already a kill goes over to G2, and there's five members strong. And Upset, you may be like Reckless, but more handsome and less passive in lane, but when you're against five, you just can't win out. Wonder takes the kill. Yeah, five before already for G2. So as we pull this one up, you can look at Wonder on the bot side, just running straight behind them all of G2 after pushing out top to tier two. Adam has no TP, so what the Ankos is doing here is he's buying time. He wants Fnatic to fight him. Mickey forces the engage with TP. Niski thinks it's a good idea to match. In the end, it's a 4v5. And you can 
see G2 just able to split up Fnatic as well. Uh, with Whippo having to jump across the wall. Upset was all on his lonesome at the end and did fall. And this Callisto, although she got that laning advantage. Well, tier two, but the top tower wasn't Vicky, hit by Harold. Vicky's just dead. Adam just... Oh, now Caps, Caps might be in trouble. Caps is all alone here. Abscond of Duck misses. Hit and Flash is in. The Flash coming out as well. There's a shockwave, but with the Everfrost, the lockup, Fnatic get two quick kills, one out of nowhere. Come on, guys, if we go for bot tier one, Reckless is bot with no TP. Fnatic's just going to start up this Baron. This is a 4v5 no matter what for Fnatic, and it's a good fight to take. And you smell what Fnatic is cooking right now. It smells very much like a big purple worm. They've started it up. 8,000 HP on it at the 21 minute mark. Fnatic looking to make G2 make a mistake. Reckless on his way. There's the solar flare. Hits one. Mickey going in with the quickness as well. And Reckless is now here. It's Reckless. Fight. Quickness going back. The shockwave already down as Caps is dead. And now the question is can G2 fight this 4v5? Feathers fly. Reckless is going to try and pull them back. But the chase is on from Hillisang. Wonder dives onto the back line. Reckless is dead as well. So is Mickey. And Fnatic win the fight. Yeah, G2 thought they could go for the bot tower and they thought they could go for the Jake, but they're playing against Fnatic, and you know they're just going to start up Baron and turn. 500 gold lead, 22 minutes in. Yeah, Reckless is sprinting towards the top side, so Fnatic know they have about three or four seconds to just start the fight, and G2 have to back off until Reckless is here. But then being forced to back away when Caps has no flash, with so much gap close on Fnatic, with Leona, with Kalista, with Amundo and Silas running at you, Caps is as good as dead before Reckless arrives. So again, it's a 4v5. Yes, Whippo dies on the backside to Yankos and Wunder, but look at Reckless, four members on top of him. Nikki tries to save him. Not wanting to take it. One Caps still pushing Caps, trying to step away from the solar flare. The Zenith Blade hits once again. The Shockwave coming out as well. Caps still alive for the moment. The chase is on. Whippo's low. There's the charm. There's the quick upset. The back line onto Upset. Yankos is looking for this, but he can't quite get the damage down as Upset posts the Solitude to Golden. Nikki coming in. The TP's joining as well as Wonder looks for the fray. Hex the Golden Maiden, his key target. Upset the one he wants to land it on. Nikki steals away a Shockwave. Upset is dead. Adam next on the menu here for G2. Nikki on his lonesome in the midst of five. Puts the Softwave. That's just a sombrero. G2 in the fight. Oh, that team fight was beautiful from G2. Fnatic were hungry for blood and they committed to the fight. Wunder was late with the TP, but Caps held his flash on the Cloud Soul. And just watch how long Caps holds his flash here for. So he gets engaged on by Hillisang, just sidesteps the Leona ultimate. And then when he even gets the stun, Caps doesn't hesitate. Just pops the shockwave, runs in range of Mickey. Mickey comes in and then Fnatic upset. He gets isolated off. And then by the time Wunder arrives, he's there to finish him off. You can see Fnatic after that initial burst just didn't have the follow up. And because Wonder is there, as you say, he can just lock up upset in this hexagon to made it, making it very difficult for anyone for Fnatic to defend. Yeah, Niski, it's really hard for him to get into the fight because he was zoned away at the start. And as Fnatic was engaging, the carries of Fnatic didn't get as much impact in that fight as they wanted. Wonder has no flash here. Wonder's going to jump across the wall. The solar flare with the chase only gets the slowdown. Whippo's still chasing him, but Wonder able to walk away. That's Ignite burnt. G2 chasing him. I mean, oh, he's just going to TP out. Yeah, he has the passive too. you can root call. Like, yeah, with the passive as well, there's just nothing you can do. Wow, that's so that, that's such a good play because now that stalls about a minute of G2's time. That's great. Now they can maybe look for yeah. a pick. Mickey has to be careful. This vision helping them out as Mickey steps forward into the Zenith blade. Mickey oh! though able to dodge away the Guardian as well to keep him alive. So what was invested there? Well, it was only a solar play. Niski looking for the back door plays. Oh. He gets in caps with a superb flash away from Wonder looking for this. Where are the oh. rest of Fnatic? Well, look where Hillisang is. Look where Hillisang is. Can he get the long way around here? Because the Hexagon Maiden is available for Niski. Lots of damage down onto Good the side of Spots to stop watch. Whippers here as well. Need to get over that wall. Upset joins him with a blast cone. Ignite ticking. Niski going to get the Everfrost slow there. Wonder's going to try and hookshot wall dive away. Whippo, oh, flash, Whippo. Stun with the Spectral more. Hillisang with the Solar Flame as well and chases on. Wonder overstepped. Wonder overstayed and Fnatic pounce. Meanwhile, in the bottom lane, Reckless is going to be able to get a tower out of this. The question is, can Fnatic now defend their base? That's a big question. G2 of all base. They have TP. You can see them coming in now, but the bot lane of G2 is really, really far away. Rakan, Reckless, they're very far. It's going to be a 3v5 at best. G2, Fnatic's just going to commit. Yankos has no flash, and Hillisang is acting as a bodyguard. It's gone. Up. It's gone. The Ren is used. G2, do you fight or do you flee? Fnatic are looking to flee. They're looking to get out of this one as quickly as they can. The Solar Flare coming out as well, and there's the quickness onto the back line. Adam already dead. Upset next on the menu. He's got that GA, but the GA won't save you in a day. You're left to the hungry wolves that are G2. The rest of the team retre retreats. An upset gets taken out. Very least. And we'll see what they can do with it. Three buffs right now. Hillisang forced to flash away. Wunder's just committing for it. Thanks to Godomedu coming out. Whippo's here as well. Hillisang dead before Whippo can really intervene. Niski looking in the wings as well. Whippo's going to get knocked up. And Fnatic have walked straight into this. Two quick kills. And the Baron might not even matter here because G2 just have the numbers advantage. They've got waves in the mid lane, waves in the top lane. They've got the inhibitor down. Can Fnatic defend? 15 seconds on upset. Adam's up now. It's just the solo lanes of Fnatic to defend the Nexus. I think G2 might be able to push an end here, Medic. First Nexus tower is down. G2 looking to jump in. The quickness coming out. There's a charm. 
It distracts them. The second Nexus Tower falls as well, though. Adam diving in, looking for the kills. But upset alive. Of oh, Fnatic get in here. Upset alive. The stopwatch coming out from Adam. It's a 4v2. It's a 4v1. Upset falls back to the fountain as G2 will clean up game one. What a performance from that man on your screen. 6 0 12. 100% kill participation from Jankos. It looked like G2 dropped the ball for a second around that Baron, but a couple kills and the waves already pushing in gave them the momentum to push into the base of Fnatic. Fnatic tried to hold on.